All right, so this is step one in the convergence of perceptron proof and the mistake bound. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is show, I'm going to show that this thing, this dot product between um, w star and wt plus one, um, is we want to show that that is large, okay? And that thing then, because to get it to be large, it has to increase a lot at every iteration. So between one iteration and the next, um, this thing better increase. Okay. So it's between one iteration and the next, that thing should increase. Okay. So then this guy, this is just W star times W T plus one minus W T. Okay, now, well, um, at every time, at every iteration of this algorithm, it makes a mistake, right? Because otherwise the algorithm doesn't do anything, so it doesn't count as an iteration. So if it makes a mistake at time t, then the difference between these two vectors, just by definition of the perceptron algorithm that I gave you earlier, is actually um, yi times Okay, so this thing is yi times w star dot xi. And guess what? By definition of w star, all of the margins of w star are positive by the way I define w star. Okay, so that's at least delta. Okay, so after t mistakes, then w star times w t plus 1 equals, okay, and then this is w star w t plus 1 minus, and I can always put in 0 in disguise here, but right? this is the same thing. Doing this is 0. w1. W1 was defined to be 0. The whole vector is 0. So that's how I defined it. Okay, so I can rewrite this as a telescoping sum equals 1 to t, and this is W star dot W t plus 1 minus W star W t. Okay, and then this thing, of course, adding up a whole bunch of deltas for each iteration, you get t delta. Okay, so that's good. Okay, that's the that's the first step. It's that this thing is at least t delta. 